Um, first person we'd like to bring up to the stage would be uh, one of our Canvas Campaign chairpersons, uh, Trisha Bolt. You are quite an extraordinary college. Your volunteerism and your acts of philanthropy are quite astonishing. Um, statistically, with the largest college and the largest number of donors, you have a 49% participation rate. It, it's just awe-inspiring for the rest of us. Um, notable departments such as statistics, astronomy, and the university press with 100% participation. You rock, guys. Um, you have quite an astonishing um, reputation for receiving a lot of awards, which are so well deserved. And I just ask you to just to keep going. There are so many extraordinary funds within arts and sciences, and I look, ask you to look outside, and in particular, look out to my favourite one, which is Operation Military Kids. You might have noticed that I'm not born in America, but I did marry a soldier, and those military kids need your help too. Um, I think arts and sciences epitomizes the many layers, much depth theme this year. Obviously, with all this talent in this um, college, we're about to see many layers, much depth. So with no further ado, I'd like to introduce Dean Chen Box. Maya, who, um, from the Social and Behavioral Sciences, who's going to provide the opener to this amazing event. Thank you for inviting me. Good morning and welcome everyone. It's great to see you all here. Um, I want to talk a little bit about the campus campaign and how important it is for showing how much we believe in what we are all doing here. Um, every dollar counts. The participation figures are really important to us, so I encourage everyone to make a contribution, no matter how large or how small. And what I love about the campus campaign is everyone can find their passion. So um, some of mine include the Diabetes Knowledge Center, the Center for Human Resources Research, the Graduate Fellows Program in my own home department of political science and in sociology, um, or perhaps the Yonkin Success Center is something that you'd like to contribute to, which is there to help students um, when they need it the most um, with their study skills, for example. And they also help faculty. Um, I myself have been there for teaching presentations. So I, what I love about the campus campaign is it's an opportunity to give back and say, this is what I'm passionate about at Ohio State. And so um, I appreciate you being here and um, appreciate every contribution that you guys make. I want to thank the ambassadors as they're the connecting force that gets us organized and gets the efforts for fundraising mobilized. So um, are any of our ambassadors here today? If you can, raise your hand. Great. Thank you very much for serving in that important role. I want to thank some of the key individuals for this event. Lisby Robertson, who I know is extremely excited, but unfortunately is, is ill today. Um, Maddie Kuma, Brittany Post, Sonia Manjohn, Liz Vopel, Jill Kimple, Paula Cullen, and without them, this kickoff event wouldn't happen. So um, please join me in thanking them as well. We have a special thanks to Tim Donnell, who's the School of Music um, Production Manager, and we appreciate him lining up this wonderful opportunity or auditorium and providing um, all the help in making the production come off for our talented performers today. Um, without further ado, I invite you to look in your program and to um, help me in welcoming the Teen Campus Campaign ASC Council members Lauren Barrett and Eric Drake. Thank you, Dean Fox, Seth and Smyer. Yes, thank you. Welcome, welcome to the Arts and Sciences Campus Campaign first ever talent show. Woo! Woo! Opening, we'll be doing 
join us again next year. So, okay. Who has a cell phone? Oh, sorry. Okay, folks, if you have a cell phone, this is just a nice reminder. Please either shut it off or put it on silent. Well, apparently, um, Tim Ballantyne and Cody Grabby could not be here tonight, um, today. Uh, their flights got delayed from L.A., so um, we'll have to be skipping those two uh, acts. We'll just go over John. All right. Okay.
that makes me very happy. Thanks, Jill and David. Hi, I'm Lizby Robertson. My temp is down to 99 plus, so I am hopeful I'm on the mend. I support the vet school to help animals who don't have someone to love them. And Pelotonia, because I am a two-time survivor. As obviously, I'm, I'm not Lizby Robertson. She's unfortunately really ill, and that was taken from her email this morning. She really, really wanted to be here. I don't think she's ever missed one. Um, so she could not be here today, but her funds are chosen from compassion, compassion for animals, and compassion for people going through cancer treatments. She clearly wants everyone human or animal to find love and support in this world, and that is why she has the passion to give. All right, let's go. She'll see this on video. Next up, guys, please welcome back to the stage one of our MCs, Eric Drake, for a very serious, dramatic rendition of a classic piece of American literature. Eric? I do not like them with a mouse. 
I do not like them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. You do not like them, so you say. Try them, try them, and you may. Try them, and uh, you may, I say. Sam, if you will let me be, I will try them, you will see. Say, I like green eggs and ham. I do, I like them, Sam I am. And I would eat them in a boat, and I would eat them with a goat. And I will eat them in the rain, and in the dark, and on a train, and in a car, and in a tree. They are so good, so good, you see. So I will eat them in a box, and I will eat them with a box, and I will eat them in a house, and I will eat them with a mouse. And I will eat them here and there, say, I will eat them anywhere. I do so love green eggs and ham. Thank you. Thank you, Sam. people out there. That was awesome. Elocution, just beautiful. Up next, Mike Beershank will perform an a cappella version of Follow the Heron by Scottish singer-songwriter Kareem Hobart. Mike. She was well known for these long stream of consciousness emails where she was sitting by rivers in California, often looking at herons. And so this is in her memory. And this is really low. The back of the winter is broken, and light lingers long by the door, and the seeds of the summer have spoken. In gallons that bloom by the shore. By night and day we'll sport and we'll play, and delight as the dawn dances over the bay. Sleep blows the breath of the morning away, and we follow the heron home. In darkness we cradled our sorrow, and we stoked all our fires with these bones that lay empty and hollow, are ready for gladness and cheer. By night and day we'll sport and we'll play, and delight as the dawn dances over the bay. Sleep blows the breath of the morning away, and we follow the heron So long may you sing of your salmon and the snow-scented sounds of your home, while the wild wind delivers its sermon of ice and salt water and stone. By night and day we'll sport and we'll play, and delight as the dawn dances over the bay. Sleep blows the breath of the morning away. We'll follow the heron home. By night and day we'll sport and we'll play, and delight as the dawn dances all over the bay. Sleep blows the breath of the morning away, and we follow the heron home. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. Um, raise your hand if you also got goosebumps from that. That was really good. Thank you. So uh, next, please welcome to the stage the split personality of Andrew Trimmer, performing both parts of a duet. Here he is with Agony from Into the Woods. And this one's for Tim Valentine, who couldn't be here to do this with me.
and one second lead, running for fresh air, frantically searching for identity forbidden to brown skinned girls, leaving behind steel, steel truck voices dismissively saying, Why right? You'll be married with children by 20. Though saying she's not smart, she's just fast. So I ran faster and I ran harder, and somewhere in time, began to laugh at the voices, rushing as fast as time would allow, looking in different corners of the world for that scent that would allow me to breathe. I found air far away from the plains. When I could breathe, I stopped, I laughed. Those voices were wrong. Along the same vein, <clears throat> this is called uh, Wait Through the Years. At 18, I waited for the freshman 15, started working, and missed the prom. 15, 15, freshman 15 never came, graduation and diploma delayed by 10. 20 came with hot, 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 fast romance. I lost my heart and 10 pounds fast. Hot romance, fast to disappear. With broken heart, I ran to the Air Force bound. With Uncle Sam, I ran for sanity. Keeping a frantic pace, I ran away another 10. I met a man and lost my heart. I blew my world, changed my state of mind to Midwest dreams, gained 20 pounds and distressed love, lost 30 with expanding wings. At 19 years, he said, I'm dying. I needed to escape from his state of mind. He never knew of my broken wings. I was back up by 20. I dropped a 10 pound weight on the MG3, a gift from a man from a different state. Time to shed my state of mind. Thank you. Thank you, Anna. Now our next performer is much more comfortable playing in a club with cocktails and distractions than on stage when most of the audience is sober and paying attention. So please feel free to talk amongst yourselves or sing along as Pete Tender offers his version of the uh, Eagles tune, Desperado. passionate about the School of Music New Day Campaign Fund. Um, I think like the campus campaign, this song has an opportunity for all of us to join in together near the end. So if you do that, you'll find out that it's way more than what one person can do by themselves, just like our campaign. So here we go. Maybe not. Tim Donald. Never mind, just kidding.
the, without all the talent that we had tonight, we'd be listening to a half hour of Eric's rendition of Rocky the Bullwinkle Show. Hey, Rocky, you must be full of rabbit out of my head. And no one wants to hear that. But also, guys, we want to seriously encourage you next year for our next talent show to come on, sign up. Come up and join us on the stage. We'd love to have your voice, your talent, your artistry, your written work, uh, your foreign language. We'd love to see you. Yes, thank you. Um, more thanks. We need to give a shout out to Tim Donald and his entire crew. He really makes this show possible. <laughs> for making the pizza order and making sure it, it's uh, good and on time and delicious and hot. Is it still free? Is it still free? <laughs> even, even though it's not free pizza this year, that was last year, it's still free pizza. Um, also, thank to uh, Scott Spark for uh, recording this event. Sprague? Spark. Close thank enough. You. Close enough. Okay. Um, and don't forget there's a uh, pizza and uh, films by Matt Swift in the lobby. So uh, thank you all for coming. Thank you. Thank you.